now to pair the backend with uh, with the server backend with the um, extreme codes uh, with the APK from uh, of course from the um, extreme codes uh, from the Android box it's very easy we have to go to the Mac devices right here the Mac device it's already uh, installed we can add a new one if we want but there already it's added these are the settings for the Mac device so uh, we have assigned uh, the tutorial uh, uh, user here is the generated Mac address of the box of the Android box and of course we force the user to connect to the main server to the main IPTV panel okay uh, we uh, provide the um, tutorial uh, bouquet here and uh, this is it we have the edit Mac device settings so uh, already uh, the Mac device it's on connected as you can see right here of course we can uh, do several stuff such as uh, force channel to play reload portal reboot the the box from remote we can also send message to the end user from this uh, stuff we can type in here the message and send it to the to the user's box and uh, notify him regarding stuff like uh, payment or uh, other uh, important things or uh, maintenance or other stuff uh, as you can see um, we can see also here the statistics uh, for a specific line if the user using some kind of uh, channels or not which channels are watching more which are watching less we can also disable the user from here we can kick the user from here and we can uh, block him or unblock him uh, of course uh, here is the editing the Mac device so basically this is the end user box connected here we have total control over the end user box on the other hand we have also in the panel um, the possibility of the uh, video on demand from here we can set up the movie name we can type in uh, the movie location it can be also on on remote once selected the movie uh, we can select also the uh, format of the movie MKV we can uh, delete existing subtitles or leave it with existing subtitles we can provide the uh, path to the subtitles we can also select similar like on live channels the um, custom uh, transcoding options or not and of course when we finished and uh, we provided all the uh, parameters for the uh, video on demand movie we can add new movie it will be listed uh, exactly here yeah I didn't uh, insert it yet but here the we can uh, insert the movies and uh, we can create a specific channel for the movie of course we have several uh, stream tools as here and uh, we have uh, management for the created channels from uh, video on demand movie we can uh, manage the categories of the movie of course and uh, we have also some transcoding profiles some typical transcoding profiles also here uh, the best is uh, for users to find their own uh, exactly setup because some channels or some movies are encoded at uh, some quality and uh, to transcode them uh, you will need to self test and try until you find the exactly uh, uh, desired setup okay another thing another important thing it's the management of the server itself here at manage servers you can uh, manage for yourself the server you can change the IP you can change of course you can put uh, VPN and uh, change the um, uh, network uh, adapter from here also you can uh, manage from here to add a new server as a um, load balancer for example uh, of course it's based on uh, name and uh, domain name and server the, the balance load balancer server IP SSH password MySQL password once uh, the 
load balancer is set up uh, it's automatically synchronizing with the main server okay uh, if you want packages for resellers you can set up in here and the manage packages or um, add uh, reseller packages there are several more tools such as uh, login logs panel error log and uh, several more stuff such as uh, software update, migrating to, ex to extreme codes or from extreme codes and a uh, few more other important things. Uh, with this um, uh, tutorial we have covered mostly the most important part of the how to use the um, extreme codes uh, server, backend and uh, of course the APK with the stalker portal. Thank you very much. Uh, enjoy.